Hey, what is up, y'all? How are you guys doing today? So pretty much, guys, today I woke up and I just really had an itching to get on some bass. I just have some largemouth fever right now. Hopefully, we can solve that today. As you guys can see behind me here, I am at a local pond, and I'm just gonna try to be catching some largemouth bass. Now, currently, we are still in February, and it is pretty freaking cold out here today, and it's also supposed to rain, so that's uh, that's that's good. Today, I figured, why not show you guys my favorite lure that I like to fish with? in ponds in the winter. Now this rig that I'm about to show you is one of my favorite rigs of all time to use. You guys have seen me use it in creeks before in like the warmer weather months, but right now when it is super chilly outside, water temp is super cold, we're gonna be showing you a little secret bait that I love to use to catch fish in conditions like this. Now really quickly before we start, I do not have the microphone for my GoPro, so hopefully like that doesn't sound too crappy. And also man, it is supposed to rain as I said, so hopefully that, uh, yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen. But either way man, let's get to it. Let me show you guys my winter bass fishing Ned rig. All right, guys, now before we get started fishing here, let me just show you exactly what I'm using here for this specific winter Ned rig. So as you can see here, I do have some Cabela's bed jigs. I'm using the 332 ounce. Now, Z-Man makes these. You can find these at actually a couple different places, but I just buy the Cabela's ones because they are just a tiny bit cheaper. Finally, here are the plastics that I use on the Ned rig. As you can see here, here are some finesse TRDs. I use Z-Man's, these specific models because these float. This is my favorite for like creek fishing and everything like that, but today we are going to be using these big TRDs. I mean, they're still made with Elastec. They still float. They're just a little bit bigger and slightly more obnoxious. I actually got recommended this color by a homie at Cabela's. Now, bass in the winter are finicky, so you can go smaller and more more finesse more natural but I went with this here is the action on the beautiful Ned rig as you can see the buoyant worm floats up the jig head pulls it down it's just it's got a really good action on so it. so with the Ned rig a dream and some cold February water let's see if we can catch some fish Basically, I like to use this rig all year round, but I really do like to use it in ponds, lakes, in the colder weather months when the water is just a lot, you know, it's just a lot colder. The fish are more lethargic. And once I cast it out there, I just slowly, slowly jig this Ned rig. Here we go. Oh, come here. Let's freaking go. Whew, there we go, guys. First fish of the day on the little Ned rig. Let me get him over here. I know the audio isn't too good, as I said before. Boom. Definitely in no means a giant. A nice little fish right here. Whew, all right, not bad, not bad. Let's get this guy back into the water here. That's actually my first bass of the new year as well. Let's get you back here, buddy. Oop. There you go. All the weeds and all the plants are usually at the bottom of this pond. And trust me, there's a lot in the warmer weather months. Those are pretty much dead now. So basically they're just like kind of on the bottom. We do not want this to dig through that. So that's why I picked this weight. And with a floating worm that's a little bit longer, that helps it go down a little bit slower. That's what I want to do. I just want to fish this slowly. There's a fish, guys. There we go. Right on the drop. Come here, buddy. Oh, please don't come off. It feels like a decent one, too. Oh, yeah, come here. Right on the drop. It's starting to rain, as you guys can see. Oh, come here. Let's go. That's not even a bad one right there. Oh, there we go. Come up here, buddy. Woo! Let's go, guys. Second fish of the day. As you guys can see, it's freaking pouring out here right now. But there we go. The Ned rig is working, man. All right, guys. Second fish of the day let's go ahead and let this guy go here man not the biggest of fish both of these uh first two but uh anything is good it is why well, it's still february man we're still catching bass here in february ned rig is killing it there he goes let's freaky go guys let's go let's go get some more man Ooh. There we go. Another one. There's another one. Oh my god, dude. Let's freaking go, man. It's not a giant yet again, but I'm telling you guys. Ah, it's still like February. Just kill oh my gosh, dude. Just catching these fish is just so much fun. Again, I really do apologize for the audio. I know it's not exactly as nice as usually is. But there we go, guys. As y'all can see, man, he freaking absolutely choked that Ned rig right there. Let me try to pop it out. Oh, man. All right. Third one of the day. Again, just not a super giant. I'm telling you guys, though, there are giant fish in this pond right here. 
But uh, yeah, this guy is uh, this guy's not one of them. But any fish is a fish, man. A fish is a fish. I always say that. As long as we're catching, I'm just I cannot be more happy than that, man. So let's let him go. All right, dude. They seem to be feeding right now. Let's uh, let's keep this going. The rain has got a little bit lighter, and uh, yeah, man, it's just it's just a good day, man. It's a good day. Let's see what else we can get on here. There's a fish. Okay, guys, there we go. This guy's pulling drag. Come here, buddy. I gotta tighten that up a little bit. Okay, that's a nice fish. I do not want to lose this guy right here. Come here, buddy. He's trying to dig. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, I think, did I foul hook this guy? Oh, I think I foul hooked him. He must have swiped at it or something. All right. All right, gotta play this smart. Definitely swiped at it right there. That is interesting. Um, Yeah, I got him hooked right there in the stomach. Ooh, all right, guys. Well, there you go. Fourth fish of the day. Not conventionally hooked. I know a lot of people will say that that doesn't count, but she did actually bite a little bit before that. So she was definitely interested in the Ned rig, I guess, as I pulled it up. It just kind of got her snagged in the belly right there. But man, that is, uh, that is a good day right there, man. That right there for a February bass, that is uh, definitely... Definitely not too bad. More than happy with that, man. All right, guys. Well, there you go. I mean, that just goes to show you. Med rig is definitely a good option for the winner. Ooh. All right, guys. Let's let her go nicely here. Man, that is just so awesome. I did not expect to come out here and just catch bass as I'm doing right now. I mean, I thought I'd catch maybe one or two. It is February. We've uh, we've been having pretty good days. So let's just let her go right there. Ooh, right away. Ah, man, that is such a good feeling. So, I mean, although we did pull it up foul hook, that is the biggest fish of the day, man. The little Ned rig right here. Is putting in crazy work. I'm gonna spend a little bit more time out here, give a few more casts. But it's just freaking freezing out here. I've been getting rain on all day, so I'm uh pretty wet, and uh that is not the best feeling right now. But if I'm catching fish, man, it's it's worth it. Man. Let's let's see if we can get any more here. One thing I do just have to say, man, never be afraid to fish the rain. It's just water, unless you have GoPros or like camera stuff, man. Never be afraid to fish in the rain. Whew. All right, guys, so that is pretty much going to do it here today for this fishing session. Luckily, the rain stopped. I still am like super soaking wet though, but that is all good, man. As long as we caught some fish, I'm I'm just, I'm happy. Hopefully, the audio on the GoPro was not too bad, man. But yeah, there you guys go. That is one of my go to setups here for the winter time if I want to do some pond fishing, if I want to go for some bass. As you guys can see from today's fishing session, it is definitely, definitely effective. I mean, it is still February and we are out here catching some bass. Awesome day. I am really starving though, so I'm about to go get some food. Now, if you guys have been around my channel, for a while you know how big of a fan i am of the ned rig so definitely if you have not already tried it out definitely do it man definitely one of my favorite ways to fish definitely one of my favorite rigs i'm just super happy that we actually did get to get on some bass here today as i did say before that was my first bass of 2018 so we are definitely going in the right direction i did end up snagging like a pretty decent sized bass i guess compared to the other bass that i caught so that's definitely progression but this year man i'm putting a limit for myself six pounds by the end of 2018 i do want to catch a six pound bass that is my goal for the year i definitely do plan on doing a lot more bass fishing just like all around everywhere lakes ponds creeks just like everywhere man so yeah guys that's pretty much gonna do it here for this video today as always i really do appreciate all of the support all right guys actually really quick before I do end this video, I actually just finished up editing it. It's like super, super late. I always do this somehow. This is exactly how my sleep schedule gets absolutely destroyed. But I just wanted to show you guys this clip. It's not going to actually make it into a video because I was not actually able to make a video. But after this bass session, I just got like super amped up on bass. And I went out like a day or two after to try to film like a whole bass fishing video at another pond. Yeah, that whole video did not really work out. But I did get this pretty cool clip right here. So let me show you guys that right now. Oh my god, right at the, holy crap, oh my god, oh go, no, 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 oh, he came off, dude, oh my gosh, did you guys freaking see that, man, oh my god, that was insane, he came up right under that log right there, he nailed this bait, let me show you guys what I'm using here, holy crap, I just got here, guys, I literally just got here, and I was like, yo, let me just uh, cast this around really quick, I just opened my mystery tackle box, but this little bait right here, man, this, oh my god, dude, that was like one of the sickest bites I've had 
in a long, long time, dude. That guy came up literally freaking shaking right now. I saw that. It was crystal clear through the water. He came up and nailed that freaking, oh my gosh. All right, all right. <sighs> all right, and we are back. All right, guys. Well, that right there is probably going to be it for this video today. Unfortunately, I could not make that video from that like little clip right there. I couldn't make that into a whole video itself because I really did not catch any fish. And that fish that I did catch, I didn't actually catch. But yeah, either way, guys, I really do appreciate all the support. It really does mean a lot to me. So much exciting stuff is coming in the near future. I'm just excited to bring you guys along with me for that journey we're going to be doing a lot more challenges we're going to be doing a lot more different types of fishing that you guys have not really seen on this channel yet getting into some different species spring is coming that means trout season's right around the quarter man just like everything is looking on the upward trend and i just like that just makes me so excited because i just want to make as many videos as i possibly can for you guys so again just like thank you guys so much for all the support let's keep this rolling man thank you guys for watching I'll see you next video